Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're having a look at the new Misty Valley. It is very, very similar to the one we had last month. Um, I'm going to go through all the basics of it because we are, I have a better understanding now, so it'll be a better description than I did last time. So if you're new, you've only just got to the stage that you can unlock it, uh, stick around for that. If not, I'll leave a timestamp in the description. So all the people that went through the last one, they know the basics of it. Uh, I'll leave a timestamp to where we talk about the enemy formations and the different heroes that you are going to require for this one but it actually looks a little bit easier on requirements uh, than the previous one a couple more of the celestial hypergene dimensional teams than i remember in the last one but still shouldn't be too bad so let's get into it okay so to get to the misty valley you've got to go into the voyage of wonders and for people who don't see it i i used to believe it was you had to be at chapter 17 i have heard since that you have to have defeated chapter 17 to unlock this so early game you're not going to get it but it does seem like it's going to be a regular thing so don't worry you can get in for the next one if you miss it i'm still of the assumption that as long as you get towards that clearing chapter 17 stage um during this event so there'll be probably 30 days left uh on the global server until it's finished so if you clear chapter 17 you should be able to get into it that's the stage i'm at on my free-to-play account on the test server, I'm trying to clear chapter 17 so that I can actually get in and participate in this event and get all the nice goodies. So, what do we have here? We've got uh, we've got the bronze chests, which are going to include, you know, experience, dust, all... Like, they're actually all just really good rewards. Like, I'm cool with all of those. Uh, the silvers are, once again, going to be your rotating blue stones and purple stones. I mean, the 120 blue stones is still really nice. It ain't bad. Photo's always good, so happy days. And the gold ones, once again, I'm loving the po coins. I, I mean, actually really enjoying the furniture thing. Uh, I really want to get my eyes old up on the uh, Celestial Hypergene account, so hoping to get that. But there's a bunch of those. And then in this one, the way this works is I didn't quite figure it out until the end of the last time the event was on. But for each chapter that you've um, completed, you get to choose some of these. So basically what we're looking at here so if say if you'd completed chapter 19 you'd get a selection of these three then you'd get to have a selection of the next three which is the thousand diamonds 30k guild coins and 400 um dust not dust what's that stuff called e essence twisted essence got it and then you get to choose between the blue stones or the purple stone and then you get to choose between you get it. So whichever chapter you're up to, you get all of those ones, but you only get to choose one out of each line. For the final, final treasure trove, the way it works is it opens up a new boss every day of the event. After 20 days, they'll all be unlocked. You don't have to do them on the day of it being opened. You can wait till wait wait and do all of them on the last day if you want, and you can get it all that way. Now, when we come here, we're going to have, obviously, the boss. Now, you're going to click on the boss. It's going to have three requirements the bronze key is always gonna the stone key sorry the stone key is always gonna have the same requirement which is gonna be uh just achieve victory and then you're gonna be able to open the gate ahead of you and get on to the next one but if you want to get those extra goodies to either side you're gonna have to defeat it with the requirements so silver key on this one is achieve victory with four light bearers um that's pretty much it. And then the, the gold key is achieve victory without any heroes dying. Now, these get a bit more tricky as you go. But that's the basics behind it. We can also... Um you can also, if you just can't beat a stage, you can request help. And that's basically getting one of your friends to defeat the whole stage for you. Um, and then all that that will do is get you through uh, the... What was it? The, the stone. <laughs> I keep calling it bronze. It will get you through the stone gate. They won't be able, even if they meet the requirements, they won't be able to open the silver or the gold for you. However, when you do go into combat, you can use mercenaries in this battle and they will still count. It's just when you request help, it means the team, the, the friend is going to actually defeat the whole battle using all their things. So you can use mercenaries in here, which is important when we look at the lineups uh, later on because it is going to involve hero specifics uh, for some of the stages. And if you have that hero at too low of ascension or you don't have it at all you can use a mercenary to complete the requirements but that's pretty much it get all the keys go through you can do it at any stage you have these portals here um, and when you go into the portal i don't know if this one's going to show us yes you can see it so once you once you say it's stage 11 you can look back on all the earlier stages and see what chests you miss and then you can just teleport to that stage and have a crack at that boss if you want and that's pretty much the general 
gist of the event. Now we'll get on about what all these matchups are. Uh, AFK Guide has a really good one, so we'll jump over there and have a look. Okay, so here we are over on AFK.Guide. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Just really good. They've put it all together on a spreadsheet for you guys so you can have a look and prepare what you want. Learn, figure out which mercenaries you might need to get um, if you need any at all. But these are all the requirements. They, they go through the enemy formations and then the silver and the gold. So as you can see, the first one, Light Bearers, No Death. Uh, the Maulers one, the, the, the four of one faction ones are where you might start having to use some mercenaries as well if you haven't progressed enough heroes up. And then obviously on this one here, uh, number three, you're going to have to use Verk and Totem Dude, so try and get them. You get the different different ones, like uh, defeat it within 30 seconds there. Uh, no tank or support heroes is going to be fun. Um, four Celestial Hub Gens, so this is where some people may need um, you know, mercenaries as well, depending where you're at, but they're all pretty basic. We do need an Estrilda and a Thane in this one. Uh, and then we need Grizzul and Thorin in that one. Uh, there's one with Ezio and Oscar. So the good thing about this is the last one did have one stage where it required Nakaruru and also, uh, what's his name? Ukio. And those two at that time were both, you would have had to pay to get them because the event wasn't there to purchase Nakaruru yet. So at least in this one, there is no events that you can, no, no instances that you can get stuck on. Um, because even if you don't have Ezio because you haven't bought him, you can still have uh, Oscar and then try and find a friend that has an Ezio uh, to finish that one. But as you can see, they're all fairly standard. The last stage <laughs> looks like it might be a bit of a prick. Um, no rangers or mages in the team. So hopefully you've got your Saurus built up <laughs> and then you got to do it with all Celestial Hub Gene Dimensionals. I'm actually cool with that on my Celestial Hub Gene account. But um, but yeah, the, the, the double Shamira double Solus with a like a haste. I don't know, could be fun. Could be fun. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys, that's pretty much all there is to this one. Um, that's all the lineups. Like I said, you can click the link, have a browse through it, see if you need to get anything. Um, what I want to know is, do you guys want me to do like videos for like each stage or like every five stages, put it out a video? I might even make a community post and get a poll on it because um, I was going to do it last time, but it's really dependent on the heroes you have. I feel like a lot of these things are just going to be whatever the highest ascended heroes you have are is what you're going to do it with because every account is going to be different but if you'd like me to do um do guides for it let me know in the comments um and then if someone says yes or someone says no in the comments just upvote which one you agree with um because i'm cool not to do them i'm also cool to do them so either way not too stressed anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers